What's up, Marketing Starter Kit family? We are back. And so today, if you didn't, before we dive into this video, this is super, super important. You came into this community uh, because you want to get some results, right? You came into this community because you want to be able to get sales for your digital products or your digital services, whether they're your own or whether they're somebody else's that you're selling and getting a commission for, right? And so the way that we're going to do this is by following this guide step by step. And so I bring this up because if you watched the last video and you didn't comment and introduce yourself and respond to somebody else's comment, you have to do those two things. And I can see who's doing this, right? So um, as the group owner, I can see everything that's happening in the group on the back end. So if you didn't do that, go back to that video, watch it again. It's only six minutes long. Watch it again. Take the action that's required under that video by commenting, introducing yourself, say in, in that comment, introduce yourself, where you're from, what you're looking to get out of the group, and then respond to somebody else's comment. Find somebody else's on there, like it, reply to their comment, leave a thoughtful response, and, uh, and then come back here today to do this. If you have done that already, great. Let's just dive into the video. So today, uh, I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about my story because this is, uh, it's really important because I made a ton of mistakes uh, back in 2018, 2019, and I've even made these same mistakes like moving forward um, from there after getting results. And this is, and I've seen thousands of other people do this too. And I'm not just talking about students. I haven't worked with thousands of students, but I've seen thousands of people make these same mistakes. And so what I'm going to be sharing with you is I'm going to be giving you this knowledge from like the top of the mountaintop. I've seen all these people making these mistakes. I've made them myself. And I'm sharing it with you right now so that you don't make these mistakes too, right? That's the advantage of being in this group. You can leverage the mistakes that other people before you have made. Uh, and you can take this information and not make these same mistakes. Um, and so before I get into exactly what the mistake is, let me tell you a little bit about my story. So when, when I first started marketing online, I, was, I wasn't even trying to develop the skill of marketing. The only thing I was concerned about was how do I make money? How do I make money? That's it. And I share this because if you're new to this space, you might be feeling the same way. And, and so here's what I did. I saw, I saw a video about drop shipping um, and just to be clear, this group is not about drop shipping at all, but this is what I, the first video on YouTube that I saw that somebody was, they were selling physical products and, uh, and we don't need to go into all of what drop shipping is, but it's like, think it's like selling physical products through a website, um, online. And so I start watching content about that and then I try it for a little bit and turns out it was harder than the video the video made it seem so easy but when i tried it i was like oh this is this is hard like there's like this is difficult like i kept running into different problems and different things where i was like i don't i don't know if i can do this and then i saw uh i saw this ad for funnels this is when click funnels just started and then i thought oh mate this is the solution I need, I just need to have a funnel to sell my products. Then I started building funnels and I was like, oh, this is, ah, oh, this is hard. This is harder than the video made it look. And then I saw, then I saw people doing affiliate marketing where they're selling software, they're selling things that they don't create. And, it, and the videos made it look really easy. And I said, like, okay, that, that's what I'll do. I'll do some affiliate marketing. I'll, I'll, I'll promote the funnel software because I believe in the funnel software. Even though I didn't really get it to work for me, I believe in it. And so I'll sell that. And then I start trying to do that. And I'm like, oh my God, this is hard. This is harder than the video made it look. What is happening? And maybe you've experienced this yourself. 
chances are if you've, if you've taken action instead of just watching videos, you've experienced this. And, and here's the crazy thing about this. When we're in that moment where it's just like, oh my God, this is harder than I thought. This is this like, that's when all the other things that we haven't tried yet look really good. Like, like, oh, I'm trying to sell this digital product or this service. And this is like, this is getting hard. This is harder than I thought it would be. And then somebody's like, you see a video pop up because you start getting all these videos, right? And you see some video pop up on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. And it's about how to make $10,000 a month uh, publishing eBooks on Amazon or putting books on Kindle or like be becoming a dog walker or like you start seeing all these different things and every one of these videos makes it look really easy. And when we're in this moment where we're trying something and it's hard, we see this video for something else and it looks easy. And then we think, I'll just stop what I'm doing here and I'll go do that thing. And then you start doing that thing and realize that there's unexpected challenges in that thing too. And you're like, oh, this is hard. And then you want to start something else. And this pattern is what keeps people stuck and not getting results for decades. I know people who have been in the online space five times longer than me. They've been in it for 20 years and they've made maybe a thousand dollars here and there. And it's because they are doing this. And so this is what I want to warn you about so that when you see it start to happen, you know what's going on. And, and, and here's the thing. When we experience this, our breakthrough is always right on the other side of the challenges that we're experiencing. When we feel like we're just ready to pull our hair out, we're like, this is difficult. This is hard. That's when it's time to keep doing that thing and solve that challenge because your breakthrough is on the other side of that challenge. And so here's why this works. I'm going to use my little whiteboard here. This video is called the grass isn't greener. And that's because we, we think that the grass is greener on the other side, this other method, this other video, this other course, this other step-by-step -step copy and paste system. Blah, 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 right. We think that that's, what's going to get us the results. And, and it's not. Um, and so here's what's going on here. Let's draw this out. Make my face a little smaller. All right. So this is the learning growth. This is the learning growth curve for any skill that brings in revenue. We have these different, and I learned this. I didn't make this up. I learned these different names for this from one of my mentors named Alex Ramosi. Um, maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but, uh, so right here, this is where we usually start. So we have what Alex likes to call uninformed optimism. Optimism. And then we have, so what this is, is we start off and we feel really good. We learn about some new business model. We learn about selling products online. We learn about, uh, I mean, this applies for any strategy, right? We learn, you learn about selling digital products and services. And this is when you're watching the video and the videos describing the concept, make it seem really easy. And, and all of this stuff is simple. Doesn't mean that it's easy. It's simple. Um, the video makes it seem really easy. So we think I'll just do this and I'll just get some results right away. And so what happens is we start taking action. This is like time down here at the bottom. We start taking action, right? It's a little arrow. These are little days going by. Day by day by day of taking action, taking action, taking action all the way through, right? Excuse my drawing. I'm not an, I'm not a professional artist, but hopefully this will help you understand this. So, and what happens is our optimism 
starts to go away. We start to feel <laughs> this right here is a meter of how good we feel, right? We feel good. And then here we feel bad, <laughs> right? Um, so we kind of go down here with our feelings about this thing as we take more action. And this is because now we have what's called informed, informed pessimism. So what this means is now that we've started to take some action day by day, we start to see what it really takes to make this thing work. Not just this high level overview, this video, we start to see the different challenges and problems that we have to solve with this business model and, and the skills that we have to acquire, that we have to acquire to actually make it work. And we, so now we are, we're informed. We, we see these skills that we need. We see the things that we have to do and we don't feel good. About, sorry that this freaking thing my pen has a button on it and if i accidentally push it it does that so that's that's what that is um but so we still we see the skills that are required we see what it's going to actually take to win and it's more than we thought right so now we know what's required so now we're informed but we're like we're pessimistic. We don't feel good about it. We're like, damn, this is going to be a lot of work. I don't know if I want to do that. And at this point right here, this is where most people fail because this is when that other business model, that other thing, when we're at this moment right here, drop shipping or Amazon FBA or whatever, or Airbnb or wholesaling real estate, all these other videos, they start to look really enticing. We're like, Ooh, maybe, like this thing sucks it's, that I'm trying to do. It's going to be a lot of work. So maybe I'll go do this other thing because it looks easier. But what we don't realize is that when we start that, if we do start that new thing, guess where we start? We start right here, just with this different business model. And then we start taking action. We start to realize that there's all these other skills that we need to learn, that we need to acquire different challenges. And we get right back to uninformed pessimism, right? So, so here's what happens if we move through the uninformed pessimism. We start taking action. Let's see, let's move me out of the way here. We start, we keep taking action and we start acquiring skills. The only way that we acquire skills is by actually doing the work and improving. It's not just doing the work once it's doing the work, seeing it not work and then say, how can I improve? How can I improve this? Not what other thing can I do? How can I do the same work that I did just now that didn't work, but do it better. And then we keep doing that over and over and over again. And that's how you acquire skills because the first time you do something, you're probably going to suck at it. That's called human nature and that's okay. Right. And, and so the way that we not suck at something is we keep doing it. We keep doing it. And every time we do it, we suck a little bit less. And if we just keep doing it, eventually we get to the point where we suck we like every time we do it, we suck a little bit less and then we keep doing it until eventually you realize I'm actually good at this now. Like I don't even suck at all. Now you've acquired a skill. And so like me being on video, drawing this stuff out, sharing this stuff. When I first started trying to do this stuff in 2020, right? Making videos and teaching this stuff. I sucked at it. <laughs> right. And I just kept doing it over and over and over again. And now I don't even say that I'm awesome at it. I would just say I don't suck, <laughs> right? Um, and so what happens here is we get to the point where we have informed optimism. Optimism. So this is where it's like we know what skills are required. We're informed. 
We know the skills that are required. We know the different challenges that pop up and we feel optimistic about it now. We actually feel good about it now because we look back on our progress here, on all this progress, all these days, and we can see that we're improving and getting better. And now we feel optimistic. And so this is where we actually start to make money. Because usually we make money when we feel good about something and we're taking the action and we're improving. And that, that's it. And so most people don't get results with whatever they're doing because they get to this point right here and then they quit. They go leave. They leave. And then they start to do some other business model. And they don't realize that every single business model, every single thing that you see on the internet about how to make money, how to get sales, whether it's, oh, grow, start a community to like get sales, or maybe it's do drop shipping, or maybe it's doing affiliate marketing, maybe it's selling digital products and services, maybe it's building a funnel, and doing all this copy and paste stuff, which I absolutely hate, by the way, um, uh, the copy and paste stuff, I'd like loathe that because it doesn't work, it doesn't give you any skills. If you're just copying, pasting other people's stuff, you get no skills and then you don't ever get to this point really. So, but anyways, that's a topic for another day. We can talk about that in a different video. But every time that we start something new, we are starting this process right here. We're starting it over. And so the people that do this stuff for like 20 years and don't get any results, this is what they do. They go from uninformed optimism to informed pessimism. Then they start something new and they're in uninformed optimism and then they go to informed pessimism. Then they start something new and they go to uninformed optimism then they go to informed pessimism. Whatever you do, like do not do this. This right here, see how it looks, it looks like a valley in between two mountains. I like to call this valley. This is the valley of, the, of despair. This is... I don't know if any of you guys are religious or not. Um, I'm more spiritual myself, but I like to think of this in that, that Bible verse. That's like, um, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear, fear no evil. Like this is the valley of the shadow of death. And the only thing that gets people to quit, to leave and to not keep going is because they have fear. I'm afraid that this won't work. I'm afraid that I can't do this. I'm afraid that this isn't for me. I'll go try this new thing. We have to fear no evil while we are here. And we need to keep moving forward. Because this moving forward out of the valley to this other side, this is where the results come from. And so I really wanted to share this with you guys today because the last thing that I want to see you guys do is like take some action here and be like, that didn't really work. And then just go leave. Cause it's like, if you take some action once and it doesn't work the first time, it's like, it's not supposed to, it's not supposed to work the first time you actually, you have to get better. You have to improve. And that's how it works. I know this is like not the sexy thing. This is not the thing that everybody says on the, that's why they, people don't talk about this in those videos all over the internet because it's not what people want. People want to get results right away without doing any work. And I hate to break it to you, but anybody that's selling you that, it's bullshit. Like work is required. And, and that doesn't mean that the work isn't gonna be fun. Like we can have fun while we're doing work. It's going to be challenging. And I like challenges. Challenges make me better. They make me improve. They give me skills. And those skills allow me to serve and help other people. Challenges are a good thing. When I'm experiencing challenges, I like it because I know what's happening. I know that I am in this valley and that I'm improving and getting better every day. Challenges are a good thing. They don't mean to go quit. They mean move through them, you get better, you improve. And the skills that you gain from that, you can take to every other area for the rest of your life. Nobody can take a skill away from you, ever, right? And so it's like move through the challenges. And so 
it wasn't until I started, until I took that view on that I started getting sales consistently. Actually taking this view on is what enabled me to get sober. So in 2020, I was addicted to drugs, alcohol, some hardcore drugs. I have some videos up on my YouTube channel, but I'll talk about it um, in here too, just telling you more of my story. Um, and, uh, and it was from having this mindset already, I, like I saw content about this and I had coaches tell me about this, but I didn't implement it. And then I realized like my lack of business results that I had at the time were because of the way that I showed up in my personal life. It was because of me being a drug addict and never, always spending more than what I made and like needing everything to work right away because of that, not being able to just sit in some discomfort and keep taking the action anyways. And when I saw that, I thought, man, I got to get sober. I have to get off all these substances. I have to like fix these different areas of my life. Funny thing. I took, a lot, a lot of you guys may not be starting from such a low starting point that I did. And that's why I share this. Cause I'm like, dude, if I can go from being a total like drug addict hooked on opiates and like and drinking all the time and like just burning my life down to the ground while I'm trying to learn how to get sales. Cause I thought sales would save my life. Um, if I can go from that to where I'm at now, like you can too. And so I ended up taking a year off of all online business stuff. And I did that so that I can get sober. So I got, I, I went into a 12 step program. I started doing the deal there. I started really improving myself. I got a job that I knew that I didn't want so that I can pay the bills while I'm doing that so that I can learn to spend less than what I make. I saved up money and then I invested in a coach. I saved up money and then I spent six grand on a coach to personally teach me how to get better at messenger and in sales. And because I did that and did that year of improvement, I showed up in there, I took action, I developed skills, and that's how I got the sales role that I had um, in 2022. It's because of the work that I did with that coach and the track record that I, that I, that I had with them that I was able to work in a $20 million coaching company. It wasn't because I just had a good application. It's because I did all of this stuff, right? And the reason why I did all that stuff is because I knew that challenges are a good thing. And there was a lot of challenges in that journey. And, and I just embraced them. And I said, this is going to suck for a while and it's okay because I'm going to come out way better than I've ever been. And, and it's what happened. And so I'm not saying you have to go make any major shifts like that right now. But I'm just telling you that story so that you know that like I'm not just I'm not just saying that you got to move through challenges and it's going to be hard and but you expect it. But, you know, to expect it, I'm like letting you know, like I did this. If, and, and so like I'm not saying anything that I haven't done. And so sticking with the one thing, the one business model, the one opportunity that you were creating while moving through the unexpected challenges is how you get results. And so that being said, here's what I want you to do for this video. I want you to comment below and I want to know that you're committed. Cause if you're not committed, if you're like, Hey, like, Oh, this is nice. And I'm glad that I'm learning then this might not be the place for you because this is a place for people who want to get results and who are willing to show up every day. And maybe that's been a problem for you in the past. If it has, that's okay. We're here to shift that, to change that and turn that around. And so, but none of that can happen until we make a commitment. I couldn't get sober and stay sober. It's been almost four years now. It's been over three and a half years of me being sober and, and doing all this stuff couldn't do any of that without making a commitment, without making a decision where I decide this is how it's going to go no matter what. And so what I need you to do is make a commitment to yourself, to me, to the rest of the group here and say, I 
am selling digital products and getting sales and moving forward no matter what. And if you're comfortable with taking that commitment and making that commitment to yourself, great. Because that's, that's the first start. And so what I want you to do is I want you to comment below. And I want you to tell us, tell everybody in the group how committed you actually are. And, and take your time and, and write this out. Like say, tell us how committed you are to making this happen. And let us know why. Like, why is this important to you? What, like, if, if you're so committed, like, why are you? And like, I really am interested in, in knowing this. And I know that other people in the group will be interested too. So tell us how committed you are. Tell us why you're committed in the comments. And then scan the comments and, and respond to somebody. Like when you see what what they're committed, their level of commitment and why they're committed, like respond to them, like like their comment, reply and respond to them. And, uh, and this way we can all support each other on this journey, right? And uh, we're, we're all having our own individual journeys, but the beauty of this community is that we're doing it together. And, and if we're not talking to each other and, 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 and sharing how, how we're feeling and why this is important and then having other people respond back and forth, it, then it doesn't seem like we're doing this together. And that's the real value of this place. So make sure that after you let us know how committed you are and why you're committed, that you respond to somebody else who's also sharing that information. Because I bet you would like somebody to respond to your comment, right? Well, the way that you actually do that, if like you want somebody to respond to yours, then be the person who responds to other people. And then other people will start doing that for you. It's really uh, magical how it works. But that's it for today's video. Um, let us know how committed you are. Respond to somebody else's comment. We'll see you in the next one.